Peace and love, Empress 444, Tarot Dynasty. Yes, let's get into it. Come on in, come on in. Today I brought my balls on here for you, okay? Meditation balls, you know. They go by several different names, but they are ultimately some beautiful meditation balls. Mine has the turtle. I'm so infatuated with turtles. And it's something that like hit me hard. I wasn't always a turtle lover, you know, but it hit me hard. I'd have to say maybe about 10 years ago or so. And it's my connection to my bloodline. So when I found these with turtles, and then on top of that, they are the color blue, okay? A beautiful blue. But these balls are, you know, they're used to be able to get into the meditative state, to tap into this air energy. Libras, you are air. Your air communication, all right? And everything that goes and comes, it has to come through you. Just had to put that out there one time for my Libra energies. Check your placements, sun, moon, and rising, as well as Venus, okay? And North Node as well, okay? Because we're looking to ascend out here. Let's get into this energy. I really wanted to do two tapings tonight and really just a blessing you all with this energy um, that we create together. Because I feel your energies. I know who you are. <laughs> you don't have to comment. Although I would love some comments, you know. I'm a realist. I like to be able to tap into these energies because at the same time, you know, you wouldn't be here for me if it wasn't meant for you to be. And there's lessons to be learned from one another. So how do I know what I can get from you if you're in silence, okay? So as you watch these videos, as I come across your feeds, all right, remember to go ahead and subscribe to the Empress 444 Tarot Dynasty. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Let's get into it. Okay, Libras, we get into this energy. This is a love read. And we know how love is with the Libra energy. Okay? We know how it goes. Upside down, inside out. However, it's always up. I feel like it's always up. Okay? I ain't gonna hold you. And that's why amongst the signs we are the ones that are always being messed with sought after okay because they can't handle the truth like i said cards for libra spirit i am protected by my host of angels ancestors and spirit guides and they protect me as i channel these messages Esprit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Let's get it. Let's get it, y'all. And straighten them out. Straighten it out. Mm hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Let's pull a little more. Okay, these cards are my makeshift deck, okay? So, whatever resonates with your story, take it as such. Leave what is not yours alone so that others may take their energy and let it resonate. All right, let's see what came out. Let's see what came out and what resonates with my beautiful Libra Collaborative. If you have not subscribed and became a member yet, what are you waiting on? Subscribe. Become a part of the dynasty. Mm-hmm. All things metaphysical over here. Um, deep into these studies. And, you know, if I had it my way, this is how I would spend my entire day. 
you know? And I have it my way, but my way isn't one way, you know? I, I, many avenues, multifaceted. Many of us leaders are like that, okay? And I know you know, okay? But once you get one thing that is like, all right, this is for me. We definitely can want to obsess over it completely. Check your placements. See where the Libra energy lies within you. You know, where does that, you know, <laughs> you know, I have the mix of the Libra and the Virgo. So, yeah, it's on go, go. So, Libra and Virgo settings. Where y'all at? It was Virgo season still. And y'all still doing y'all thing, thing. But we up next. <laughs> it's my thing thing too because hey i'm a virgo um rising and moon high priestess energy okay and um i love it i love that mix that blend and many of you have that on top of a bunch of fire so it's really just the energies you fall in love with okay no matter how ugly they are and how beautiful they are, they're all unique in their own right. And the work that we do with the ego while we're here on this realm is totally up to us, right? Yeah, good thing. Let's talk about it. Stalker vibes, okay? You may have someone in your energy that is stalking you, okay? All on your page. Whatever it is that you do, you're standing out, all right? You may come from American Indian descent, all right? This is a lover, okay? The lovers is here. Gemini energy. This is my whole heart. This is the name of this card. My whole heart, okay? So, your whole heart wants a reset. They may be from California. However, they do not have to be, but they are big mad. They suffer from childhood trauma and are a money chaser connected to the LGBT community. Might be your earth sign. One night stand you may have had with them, okay? Chicago born. If you can relate to Chicago, Chicago, that's for you. He, she will never be the same. And this is a fact, okay? Dirty money scam. They might be involved in risky business. I miss your tongue. Somebody likes the way you kiss, Libra. Mm -hmm. They like the way you kiss. All right, but guess what? Overall energy is they're stuck. They stuck like Chuck. <laughs> woo woo. All right, let's get into this energy. We got the overall energy out here. We see what is going on. What is the vibes? Let me go ahead and pull three more. Go ahead and fill this line up, okay? Um, yeah. I got six out here. Mm-hmm. More cards, spirit. More cards for the collaborative paper energies. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Just put the two on the T, spirit. Put it on it. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to end this with. He or she will never be the same. Dirty money scam. I miss your tongue. Best sex ever. True love and healing energy. Are you a healer, Libra? Are you an earth angel out here putting it on them? Remember to flip and switch these energies, okay? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into some more energies that are going to feel relative to your story and keep these in mind, okay? I'm taking these up because they're so little and 
We're finna play with the big cards up out here. And see what's going on in this Libra's energy. All right, I'm tapping into the price of love, beautiful ones. The price of love oracle by the beautiful crystal banner. <laughs> okay. You can locate these decks on my website as well. So go ahead and look in the bow section if you're interested in having these cards in your lineup, okay? Whether you collect or not, it's just a beautiful way to support someone brown or someone in the business in the spiritual line that is putting out dope products, okay? Either way it goes, all right? All right. We're about lifting up communities and tribes. All right, not tearing each other down. Let's get into this energy. Cards for Libra. Tell the story, Spirit. Tell the story. What's going on with this Libra synergy? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. always a lot <laughs> the most from coast to coast let's talk about it let's talk about it Lucas. I hope you're feeling lovely in this energy we got a lot of stuff going on in the cosmos I actually have not been tapping in so hard but I know I need to get at it you know, my studies in the astros is never ending. They're a part of who we are. They basically are the makeup, our journey, right? Okay. Mm. I'm going to set these to the side, all right? And, um, <laughs> all right, let's talk about it, my beautiful Libras. We got reciprocity here. All right. And it's not the kind that Lauren Hill was talking about. This is candle magic work that's being done. And someone may be working some magic on trying to keep this energy together. And they want you to communicate with them. All right. You may have them blocked. You may have them shut down, shut off from the premises, okay? And they want communication. They've been trying to synchronize with you probably through astral projection in your sleep. So shield yourself while you sleep and make sure you cleanse your energy and various other ways that they wanna synchronize with you. You know, you can get very imaginative with it, right? But boundaries have been put up, okay? There are complete boundaries that have been placed. And it's the Libra's energy, all right? Because they shattered everything. They shattered it. It shattered into little tiny pieces. Like, you can't get this repaired. Mm-mm, no. You can't repair this. This has to be replaced. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay? However, that's not going to stop anyone from wanting forgiveness. All right? And I'll tell you like I would tell any other zodiac sign. Forgiveness starts with you because it's for you. Okay? So always forgive. Because the journey is not over. It doesn't stop with a shattered nothing. That's what... A new is right. That's what the world card is in the tarot. You know, new chances, new beginnings. That's actually what the tower card is about. All right. If you let it happen, you got interference. Okay. And this interference energy is 
a way of letting you know that there was interference in this. Overall, somebody has to stand true, stand down, stand ten toes in the ground. And that was not this other energy. That was Libra. That was Libra. So the interference that took place, they are wanting you to be in the energy of wanting that to be the reason, okay? Trying to come in and say, oh, you misunderstood this, that, and another. And patience, always wanting you to be patient for the reciprocity, okay? Again, remember I said that ain't the good kind. Oh, okay, let me not forget these cards. Manipulation. Manipulation, okay? Who was being manipulated when you think about it? Was it you or them? Okay? So, there's a contract that is here. And I'll see by what other cards come out, but there's a contract. Someone is looking for you to honor the contract that, remember, <laughs> they shattered. Mm-hmm. Because we all have to be accountable for our own actions. And then we go from there. You did what you had to do, Libra, because this was a dead end. It was a dead end. When it's the end of the bus line, you got to get off. Because <laughs> the bus driver will tell you to get off if you don't know. Overall energy is a wild card comes into play. There is a wild card. Hmm. Well, let's tap into the energy. Why is the contract here, spirit? Mm, too many. Wow. I'll take what I see flipped over. Mm-hmm. Let's talk, spirit. Let's talk. Okay. Trapped. Trapped. Locked up. They won't let me out. Huh? Okay. Duh. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay. So, trapped in the contract. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the contract, spirit. Tell us about the contract. Thank you, Spirit. Mm, passion. Mm -hmm. So someone wants to fulfill a contract that is connected to passion. Okay, passion, which is also lust, which is what energy? Yeah, the number 15, the devil's energy. And look what's at the bottom before I go. Ego. What did I say? I said the devil's energy. Passion and lust. Passion and ego is lust. Okay? So this contract that they are contract connected to is based off of this energy whether it is with you or anybody else this is just mere facts right why is passion in your spirit why is passion here? separation all right so they're missing you this is evidently clear right <laughs> They're missing you. They miss the passion and they feel bounded to it. Mm. This has been an energy and guess what? Still ego is at the bottom of the deck. So to be trapped inside of your ego, to be trapped inside of your ego, <laughs> wild card. Hmm. Spirit, tell us. Tell us. 
Tell us about this synchronicity. Spirit. Dream come true. Mm, the feather with the messages. Yeah. Dream come true. Wishing on a star, okay? Along with the angelic messages that come from the cosmos shooting out. That's how we make our wishes come true. And the birds are a form of that communication. Mm-hmm. And their feathers. All right. Boundaries. Tell me about the boundaries, spirit. Mm-hmm. Triggered when it comes to love. Yeah, they can't set the boundaries because when it comes to love, true love, they get triggered because they won't do the work. They won't do the work, okay? But they want forgiveness. Make it make sense. Tell us about the forgiveness. Oh, before I turn. Grief and sadness. Yes. Libra knows. Libra felt it too. Maybe not anymore. But nevertheless, it was felt, right? Shattered, tell us about the shattered. You see, shattered is on top of separation. Mm -hmm. Shattered. Thank you, Spirit. Mm, shattered the connection. Yeah. Shattered the connection. That's what happened. Frequency of 41 and numerology. Check out the frequency of 41. Read it, apply it to this energy. My beautiful tribe. Okay. Oh, huh. and guess what? Now they want to follow their heart overall energy. They want to follow their heart now. That's the only place that truth lies, right? Forgiveness. Why is forgiveness here? I mean, we already know this is like one wow, wow, wow. I'm a baby story. <laughs> you know, forgiveness. Mm, two came out for forgiveness. Oh, three. Come on now. You got a lot to say. And it's one turn. <laughs> and I'm going to turn this one out the deck last. But let's talk about it. Divine timing. They're hoping for divine timing. They want you to forgive in due time. They're holding on to you forgiving. But Libra, I don't think forgiving them is the issue, okay? I believe that it wasn't time. It may never be time again. And it's okay. That's the thing. It's okay. Now you do your work because from one another we've learned. Sadud, Sadad, okay? This is the missing pieces to the puzzle. This is who you are. You're missing. You. They cannot be fulfilled without you filling in these blank spots. They'll never be whole. Frequency of 21. Sadad. I don't know why we want to call it Sadud. <laughs> and romance, yeah. They want the romance. They want that romance. And I'm going to pull two more cards from here and then we move into the Tarot. The card that turned like this is nothing but drama. That's what it sent you. It sent you nothing but trauma in your life. 
I mean, my goodness. It's over. With the drama. Libras, you know you've been lifted. Overall energy is growth. You know you've been lifted. You've grown beautifully. And it's okay to let others do it too. Let's get into the tarot. My beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's see what I'm going to use today. Oh, I want to use my favorite. But I use my favorite all the time. <laughs> and I'm going to use it one more time. I'm going to see what the time is looking like. Beautiful ones. And maybe I'll have time to do some archetype energies if not i will be back i'm gonna try to record two times this evening for my beautiful beautiful dynasty let's get into the synergy spirit libra oh we ready we ready king of pentacles okay They trying to talk, talk, talk. Well, talk, talk to me. Okay. King of Pentacles. Tell us about the communication. I couldn't even ask the question. And they want you to know there's a King of Pentacles energy, all right, that they want to talk really bad. Okay. They want to talk really, really bad. They have something to say. And they are the snake charmer. Mm-hmm. This King of Pentacles has his friend playing the flute as the snake is charmed to their pentacle. All right. Cold brother, right here. Because we already know that when their mind is set, their mind is set. The king of pentacles, you can't change his mind. His mind is made up, all right? And this is where that ego comes from, all right? This is the energy that they were in, or are in, or were, okay? Seven of cups energy. They were in an illusion of thinking that they could ever find another Remember to flip and switch these energies. Communication. Why is communication in your spirit? Thank you. Ooh. Whoa. Let's talk about it. They working hard with the Maid of Pentacles, trying to do whatever it is they do to get their money on, okay? And they good at it so that they can speak the truth and recognize everything clearly now clarity has hit them like a ton of bricks okay yeah like a whole ton overall energy nine of swords they can't sleep at night heavy anxiety fear over the pain that they cause to shatter the connection with all the drama mm-hmm Spirit, dream come true. Dream come true. Thank you. Huh? Let it rot. Two of them. In the reverse. We got... They done piss Madrid Tierra off. This is Mother Earth. They pissed the Earth off when they came for the Earth Angel. They pissed the earth off. How you pissed the earth off? How you got the birds, the bees, the flowers, the trees, the roots, the fire, every element on the planet, peacocks, monkeys. How you get all of them upset? The sun and the moon? And you got the prince of cups out here in reverse, the princess. You don't turn the princess in reverse of cups. She cold. It's a cold little sister right here. 
That's what you did with the dream come true, right? That's what they did with it, Libra. <laughs> That's what they did. They did the fool, the El Bobo. They did the El Bobo. Uh-huh. The fool. Mm, Bobo the clown. Mm. Talk about it, spirit. Love. Why is love here, spirit? Why is love? Love. Spirit. All right. Mm, for the Queen of Cups energy. Okay. This is the Queen of Cups. This is that emotional nurturer who overflows with her emotions when it comes to caring and loving and nurturing in the realest way. Okay. Because you got to have a pure heart to have this type of love, right? Not unless you're in reverse, right? Let's talk about it. Why is the Queen of Cups here, Spirit? Oh, overall energy. Somebody, oops, 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 oops. Somebody wants to come in with the Eight of Wands, fast communication to you, a message of love, okay? This is what they want to come in talking about, but they're going through just to, just to see us. They're going through karma. They're going through karma, okay? Mm-hmm, yeah, and they're in the Eight of Swords energy. The same thing they put on you got placed on them. Remember the movie Trading Places? Yeah. We Eddie Murphy. Okay, let's talk about it. Why is the Queen of Cups here, Spirit? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we're going to let him talk about it because it's three out here. Hoo-hoo, all right. Seven of Wands. Okay, somebody's blocked. They're having to protect themselves at the same time. So you blocked out and you got to watch your back. How sweet is that? And it's all from this devil energy, temptations, Okay. Dancing with wolves and dancing with the devils, tempting by the temptations, okay? Not following your own lead. And the nine of cups now is in reverse. So this is your abundance. This is what you've worked for. It's in the reverse. Hmm. Sound like the most high said, give me that back. Snatch that back. Now we in the Knight of Wands energy, okay? On my way, I got a message. <laughs> and I want to come in fast. I got something to say. <laughs> I got something to say. All right? Connection. Why is connection here? Okay, that's too many. Oh, but I saw it. I saw it. Connection spirit. Okay, thank you. Page of Wands. All right. Page of Wands. The connection, they came into connection as a page of Wands, okay? They really didn't have it. They were in an inventive state of really wanting to, you know, have higher goals than what they were living. This is why the Most High brought them your way. Because you showed them another universe, Libra energies, okay? You helped them with their creative flow. You helped them with their thoughts of being able to be inventive and come up with the new everything, okay? Way of life and thinking. And so this energy that is shattered in the connection has stopped the flow. So this is what the yin to the yang is. This is what the power couple is. This is what me and you together make it happen is, all right? But now they're in the energy of having to hold on to everything that it is that they have in the four of pentacles due to temptations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this four of pentacles is them holding on tight. And they're also holding on tight to your energy. They're also holding on tight to your energy. All right. 
Page of Wands. Tell us more. Tell us more, Spirit. Page of Wands. Too many. Mm, we got some flipped over. Look what flipped over, though. I'm going to throw them back in there. But the La Bruja is here for the goddess. This is the Empress, y'all. She here for the goddess. Uh-huh. Behind the Two of Pentacles energy. Somebody who wanted to juggle. A juggling energy. Now we're getting into it, right? I'm 35 minutes in. All right. Yeah, but I'm putting them back in there. <laughs> Page of Wands. Page of Wands, Spirit. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Okay. Too many. But I saw it. Three of Pentacles. This individual was working together and collaborating, all right? With others. But now they're in the energy of wanting to do that with the connection that they shattered. When what it is that they done behind open and closed doors, okay? All up in your face. What it is that they've done is now being done to them. Mm-hmm. And we got the star in reverse. They're unhealed still. They're refusing to heal. Remember the first card in my makeshift death? One of the cards was unhealed wounds. Oh no, childhood trauma. That's it. Mm -hmm. They're still dealing with it. They're still dealing with it. Let's talk about it some more. Trauma. I mean, drama. Hey, look, trauma and drama. <laughs> Spirit. Drama. Okay. All right, I'm going to take these because they tried to come out before. So Spirit is saying, like, tell the story. I got three at a time. Take them, okay? Six of Cups. It's drama with the energy of a nostalgic life long love something you dreamed about remember dream come true something you dreamed about something that you fantasized about something that you actually asked the most high because this is how you end up encountering somebody has been wishing for more but when they had it they didn't know how to hold it and now they're trying to hold on four of pentacles to every single thing. And that is causing drama. Four of cups. They know you're not going to accept an offer. Some of you may accept an offer. If you do, that's your journey. Okay? That's your journey. We don't know, you know, what someone has done to someone. So I'm never going to undervalue someone's pain. You know, a lot of people will get in your chat and be like, oh, you don't know what he did to me. You're right. I don't. So since you are still hurt behind it, that means you have to still keep doing what it is that you have to do in order to move forward and continue with the things that it is you're sent here to be. Because when people come with this energy into your life, it's only for your elevation. Nothing is here to take you out. It's the test that takes you out, whether you fail it or whether you pass it. Four of Cups energy. Ain't nobody taking that, okay? They know that. This is a missed opportunity. And this is Queen of Wands. She's sure about it. She's sassy, sophisticated, and let you have it, okay? And still about everything that needs and to be mattered about, right? Healing, as I said, is the overall energy of this deck. There is healing that needs to happen, okay? Whether it is through meditation, sound bowl, sound frequency, Reiki, crystal healing, whatever modality is going to support you. Listen and be quiet enough. Temperance, energy, patience with yourself 
from the temptations to be able to heal those parts of you because nobody else can do it for you. Nobody, no one. Interference, let's talk about the interference. We always wanna know. Just who was doing what? Well, we already know because we're high priestess energy. Interference with the Knight of Cups. The passion that overflowed from this Knight of Cups energy, okay? Uh, Knight of Wands want to still come in. They got something to say, y'all. They got something to say. Knight of Cups. All right. The Knight of Cups wants the wheel of the year with you. They want a new start. They want to reset, okay? Look, <laughs> still want to come in and see the high who? The high priestess. You already know. Will of the year. Will of the year. Mm. Dame of swords, okay? She is down for whatever or not. It is no in-betweens with the Dame of Swords, okay? She's a sword. So this is what energy? This is Libra's energy. This is air energy. This is the Dame of Swords. And these eyes on the door lets you know this is the symbolism of she's protected by spirit. And spirit has her back. Uh-huh. She's highly hovered over and they will get you a ball for him or her I believe that you're protected from any tower that they tried to bring your way you done stepped out of that energy you let whatever needed to crumble crumble okay because you was ready for the new world. And this is why what they're trying to get on the back bandwagon for. They want to ride. They want to ride. Dame of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords. We already know this is a three-part energy. Okay. This is heartbreak. Yeah. And like I said, either her fan, the Dame of Swords fan is open or it's closed. It's never halfway. This is the Dame of Swords energy. Either you in or you out. Period. And because of the choices that they made, they are in the Ten of Wands energy. Heavy burdens. Too much to bear. Mm. But they thought you could hold it, right? Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Mm, too many. <laughs> Beautiful collaborative. <laughs> too many. They have sweet spirit. Okay. They need some milk. Okay. It's for sports energy. It's time for them to rest. Get about your energy. And let you do your thing thing. Okay. Let you get your juggle on. How about that? <laughs> two of Pentacles. You know, I'm not telling anyone to juggle, all right? I'm not. You know, Libras are, you know, Libras like to have day one and only. And, pff, man, that's all you see. Like, literally, that be all you see. Believe me, I know. I got six Libra placements, okay, in my chart. Let's end this with patience, all right? Because this is what we learned through this journey, my beautiful Libra energies. We learned this through this journey, and we are grateful for this journey. We stand with the clarity of this journey, okay? The clarity is the lesson. I split the deck. Three of Cups. This Three of Cups energy didn't feel good, all right? Mm-hmm. None of it. With the Bruja, none of her. I put her back in the car tonight in a deck tonight, because, you know, whatever, which, patience, tell us about the patience spirit, patience, patience, patience with the empress, the goddess, goddess, flip and switch these energies, if you are not a goddess, you are a god, okay, the God didn't come out tonight. 
But we know oh oh boy or the other old girl or whoever they is to you and your energy, they're not there. But we'll talk about it some more. The goddess, okay, this is the Empress Energy, patience and strength, overall energy for the goddess. Why is the goddess here, spirit? Why is the goddess here? Mm, for the wisdom. Yes, beautiful Libra energies. For the wisdom, the three wise men pulled up on ya. And I was like, oh, how that? Uh -uh, what's going on over here? Overall energy, Prince, Princess of Pentacles. You're just doing your thing. Being the Princess of Pentacles, okay? Dead end. Tell us about the dead end spirit. We're going to switch these energies. You are the Prince of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh, hold up. We got the nine of pentacles in reverse. That's the dead end. The nine of pentacles is in the reverse. And guess who is on their way wanting to see you again? With a broke, okay, the knight of wands. Might be a Sagittarius energy. Doesn't have to be. Fire sign energy was blazing, okay? This Nine of Pentacles energy is in the reverse. This is their Nine of Pentacles energy. It's the Nine of Wands, but he want to come in. For who? The Princess of Pentacles. Okay, let's talk about it a little more before I close out. I want to upload this and not make it too long, my beautiful, beautiful tribe. Okay, Nine of Pentacles spirit, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit. Okay. Mm. Like they said, it's because it is five of cups. They hurting. They pockets is hurting. Because guess what? When you steal from the divine, you deplete your own pockets. They left out in the cold. See you later. Bye, Craig. My beautiful Libras. Keep doing your thing as the Dame of Pentacles because you'll be doing what you love a very long time and you will become the master at what it is that you do. And that is a promise. Stay with your eye open. Peace and love, my beautiful Libra energies. Thank you for allowing me to give you your read tonight. It has been such a pleasure. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Row Dynasty.